Hi everyone, my name is Iman. Welcome back to my channel. Today, you guys, I am doing the very first fall look of 2020. I had no idea what I was doing going into this look, but I absolutely love how it turned out. I went in with the color or a little bit of color. You guys know me. I usually don't do a ton of color. So this was a nice little switch up for me. I had so much fun playing around with a bunch of new products that I'm excited to share with you guys. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you could also add me on Instagram at Iman and on TikTok at Iman Makeup. I'll list everything for you guys below. And now let's get into this fall pumpkin spice makeup. <laughs> I haven't worn my hair like this in so long, like a pulled back side part. I feel like it looks really weird, but I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> just going to go with it. Today, you guys, I have a few products from Too Faced that just came out that I'm really excited to try. The first one it is their Plump and Prime Primer. And then they also came out with their new pumpkin spice collection which i kind of love to play with every year so they have their eyeshadow palette they have their matte lip and i thought this would be the perfect palette to use for my first look of fall i <laughs> it's hard sometimes because in la right now it's almost 100 degrees so i forget that it's fall it's october and it's almost 100 degrees you guys so i have to like the only reason i even remember to do a fall look is because all of you have been messaging saying do fall looks do fall looks so this is my first look for fall pumpkin spice palette it has some gorgeous shades that i can definitely play and have fun with and then also their matte Matte melted lip. I love this color. That's going to be so pretty. So that is kind of what we're playing with. Let's get right into it. The first product that I am using is this from Kosas. It is their brand new lip fuel. This is Kosas Sport. So they have these sport lip balms, which are super fun on the go. But this one is special because it has CBD in it. Mm. That feels so good. It says an ultra restorative lip balm that blends the soothing benefits of CBD with the hydrating effects of hyaluronic acid for the ultimate lip care. If you live in a city where it gets incredibly dry in the winter and the fall even, something like this mm, would probably be amazing. Wow, that feels so good on. Kosa Sport. You guys, I know I love Kosas. It's like literally one of my favorite brands. And it's crazy because like I only kind of discovered them within the last year or two. Okay, let's get into this primer. This is the new Too Faced Plump and Prime Luxury Face Plumping Primer Serum. <laughs> Ooh, look how pretty this bottle is. I love that. That makes me want to use it just because the bottle is so pretty. Mmm, it smells really nice. It's very, very hydrating. It's like this. So it's like, I don't want to say it's watery because it's not watery. It's kind of like a, a water gel texture. And it just kind of sinks right in, which makes sense because it is a serum. So that's why the texture is more of like this jelly texture. That feels really, really nice. Let's see how this is gonna wear. This is honestly my first time trying it, you guys, so I can't say much about it, but initial thoughts, it feels really nice on the skin. It says it's supposed to give like a collagen plump elixir to help diminish the appearance of lines and wrinkles. It does make your skin look plump, so that's nice. <laughs> Another new product that I'm testing out is this from Bobbi Brown. So you guys know that I love the Bobbi Brown face base, which is a primer for your face, but they came out with an eye base. So it's the eye version. So you, this is meant to be applied in your, in your uh, oh my God. <laughs> this is meant to be applied uh, around your under eye area. So if you tend to get really dry in this area, especially when you're doing your concealer application, 
this could be a very good product. I know that I'm always trying a lot of new products. So what I really try to do is that when I really love a product, I'll make it super obvious and I'll tell you guys, this is a product you have to try. I try to use that product in multiple videos just so even you guys can see different ways of using that product and get as much use out of it as possible. For concealer today, I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Instant Fix Concealer. This is a 24 hour concealer and hydro prep. A lot of hydration today in the under eye area. And I know that I'm applying concealer before I do foundation, but I'm just kind of trying it out. I might go back and apply more concealer after, but I don't know why you guys, I kind of just wanted to do it this way. <laughs> it's so funny. I've been doing makeup for almost 10 years. And sometimes I feel like I am a beginner, like I'm still learning. I think this is why I love makeup so much because it's just like, I've never lost my passion for it. Even during Corona, like when all of this crazy stuff was happening, yes, I definitely don't wear as much makeup, but the times when I did, I did it because I knew it would make me feel better. Like I knew that if I just did my makeup and did my hair and I glammed, like, I would feel so much better and it was true. It worked, it did make me feel better. And I think that's what makes makeup so special. I would love to hear what you guys think. Why do you love makeup? Okay, I love this concealer, beautiful. Under eye looks amazing. Let's dig into this Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. So I wanna to try to use as many of these colors as I can. I think the first color I'm going to start with is Spice Spice Baby. <laughs> it must be so fun working at Too Faced and naming these eyeshadow colors. <laughs> I'm just applying this, starting in my crease, blending down to my lid, blending up to my brows. This color is so pretty, you guys. Sometimes you find eyeshadow colors that you can literally just use one eyeshadow and the whole look could be done. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm like, should I do that today? but I have an idea of what I'm gonna do now that I'm playing with this. Because sometimes you just need looks that are just so easy go-to looks, but still look glam. This eyeshadow color specifically, Spice Spice Baby, is a color you can do that with because it's so, so pretty. Pro tip, take a clean brush without any product on it and you're gonna use this to just blend out your edges this is gonna make your eyeshadow application look so much more professional. <laughs> Not that you guys aren't pros. I'm sure all of you guys are pros at makeup nowadays. I feel like everyone is like a professional makeup artist because there's just so much makeup content out there. Switching brushes, going in with something slightly smaller. This is the Sigma E38 Diffused Crease Brush. Same color, going to blend out that lower lash line. This brush is kind of perfect because it's the perfect size for doing this. It makes that shadow just thick enough. Like that's the exact thickness I want it to be. Follow the natural shape of your lower lash line. And then the brush just kind of does all the work for you. I'm now going for a flat brush. This is the Sigma E55. You guys could see it's nice and flat because I really wanna pack this next color on. So the color that I'm using is warm and cozy, which sounds perfect for fall. It's funny because I love summer and I never want summer to end, but then once fall starts, it just has such a beautiful vibe to it. Like pumpkin spice lattes and all of the beautiful fall colors. And you can start wearing like leather jackets again. <laughs> well, at least in LA, just leather jackets is pretty much all we really wear. I'm packing this color all the way up to my crease and I'm following this crescent shape, just basically following the shape of my crease. And this color is really cool because it has kind of a purpley, undertone to it. Ooh, you guys. <gasps> I love this. Going back with that crease brush from earlier, the E38, and just very gently. This is the key. You need to be gentle when you do this or else it can start to look messy. I'm just blending out that edge. I'm not really blending the shadow itself, just that edge so 
that dark color and the crease color can just blend together. See how they kind of just blend together and that harsh line is gone? And you don't need to do too much of this, just enough until it kind of looks a little bit seamless. Going back to the lower lash line now, taking an even smaller brush, using that same color, warm and cozy. So this time I want this to get this color pretty close to my lash line. So using different brushes is gonna really help you do that. So this is the Sigma, this is a Luxie brush. I don't know if they still make this, you guys, or not, but this is Luxie 121. It's a mini tapered brush. And with this, I want to get right at my lash line. And the reason for this is because I wanna be able to see all the different colors. I don't wanna use the same brush again and then it's just gonna cover that first color. I wanna be able to you see the first color and then the second color kind of on top of it peeping through. There has been almost no fallout from these shadows, you guys. Like I definitely tap off my brush a lot to make sure there isn't any excess product, but even still, there's been zero fallout. I'm very, very impressed. I'm gonna take this matte color. This color is called Whipped Cream. So just popping this, and blending that into the other shadows. This is kind of just gonna open that up a little bit and then blending it up and then also using that color underneath my brows. So I wanted to use a matte because I kind of wanted to keep this whole eye look matte. I've been really wanting to play with these colored liners. Makeup Forever came out with a bunch of different shades. They are the Aqua Resist color pencils. They're waterproof, so they're really good for the waterline. I don't know which shade to use. I don't know if I should do like a purple, which would blend in beautifully, or should I be adventurous and do a teal? Sometimes I really wish you guys could just like be here while I'm doing the makeup so you can help me out. I think let me just try the purple. So I'm really just applying this mainly in my waterline. Oh, it's so pretty. So this shade is called number nine Ivy. Blending it into my lashes and I'm gonna take it all the way into the inner corner, bring it up and tight line my top lash line. So everything is just like super smoky. Ooh, I love this. I definitely love this rather than using a black. I feel like a black would have just been would have kind of taken away from the colors where this just like makes the colors stand out even more. Try to play around with your colored liners for the season. I've been seeing that a lot. Have fun with it. You can do it in a more subtle way like what I'm doing right now with this purple or you can be a bit more adventurous. So this shade is number seven Lagoon which is very appropriate because it's this beautiful teal. Ooh, that's cool too. <laughs> These liners are amazing they're so fun to play with like that little blue that and i barely did anything but that little hint of blue just totally took this eye look to another level i'm loving the teal absolutely loving this vibe so fun i love love this you guys i think this is gonna turn out so pretty once this whole look is done let's do lashes i'm using my absolute favorite mascara right now this is the kosas Big clean mascara. If you guys missed it in my last video, I talked all about it. It's honestly like one of the best formulas for a mascara I've used. I love that it's a clean beauty product, so it doesn't have any crazy ingredients in it. It kind of gives your lashes a nice curl. I do have a pair of falsies that I'm gonna throw on. They have like a really nice cat eye shape to them. Eyes are done, you guys. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just sweep up any fallout that I might have, even though I really, really don't have any. I'm gonna do my foundation application super quick. I'm using the new NARS foundation. This is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. And then I'm also quickly filling in my eyebrows. That is a must when you have a full smoky shadow look like this because it really just helps frame your eyes. So I did a little bit of warm bronzer just to warm up my skin and now it is time for the slip you guys. The original plan was to do this lip. I feel like it'll still work so let's go for it. This is the pumpkin spice melted matte from Too Faced. Super beautiful fun color. Let's just see if it works with this. Oh my God, it smells so yummy. A little bit orangey. It's a little bit pumpkin spicy, <laughs> but let's keep going because I have an idea of what I can do. So I'm gonna use this to fill 
and shape my entire lip. I love this matte formula. It's just super easy to wear and it's really comfortable on. It's super pretty, you guys. I don't know. I think it might actually go. This is definitely not the color I would have picked normally with this look, but I think if I add the right color blush, this could work. So I need like a really warm pumpkin peachy blush and this will pull this whole look together. And I actually think that my blush palette might be perfect for this, the Iman Times Catrice Cheeky Blush Palette, because these two colors, Cairo and Luxor, I think are gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna just start with this really beautiful deep color, Cairo, which is kind of like a dark orangey brown. Whatever shade you choose, you definitely want it to be more on the orangey side rather than pink. The orange tones will go a lot more this with this look than pink would. Now I'm going in with the more orangey shade Luxor. This is like this beautiful orange gorgeousness that it's very hard to find a color like this, but you definitely need to be careful because it's very pigmented. So I shake off the brush quite a bit. This is what's gonna really bring this look together. And you guys, I'm loving the lip. I totally would have never gone for this lip color, but I'm glad that it came in the set or else I probably would have never used it. <laughs> that is the final look, you guys. I loved everything I played with. The pumpkin spice palette from Too Faced, super fun. I absolutely loved this color, the pumpkin spice melted matte. And I love these liners from Makeup Forever. Have fun playing with color in a little bit of an easier way, you guys. This is definitely the way to do it if you don't wanna do color in your shadows do it with liners it totally just takes your look to another level and that's it for me today i really hope you guys enjoyed this i really hope you guys have fun playing with makeup make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel if you love beauty make sure you add me on instagram at iman and on tiktok at iman makeup thank you so much for watching this week's video and i'll see you guys next week with a brand new tutorial bye